I'm back. I have a new shirt, new lighting, new hair wax, and now we have a new controversial superhero movie that everyone's given their opinion about, and I'm once again late to the party, so it's new, but it's still the same. <laughs> Suicide Squad is the newest film in the so-called DC Expanded Universe, which is DC's own brand of their own cinematic universe that they want to create to kind of catch up to Marvel. So Suicide Squad is written and directed by David Ayer, and pretty much the premise is very weird, because instead of having heroes teaming up to stop the bad guy, we have bad guys teaming up to stop an even badder guy, which is strange to think about, and... Really, I'm surprised that so many people were really hyped about this movie beforehand. They marketed this film brilliantly. The trailers looked amazing, the posters, the ad campaigns were fantastic. The end result is not amazing, it is not fantastic, and it doesn't come close to that. I'm sorry, but I'm going to be one of those people, not to bash this movie, but to just say, nah. There's three standout characters of this movie, and that is Harley Quinn, Deadshot and El Diablo. Will Smith and Margot Robbie play Deadshot and, and Harley Quinn. They are just amazing together. Not just together, but on their own. The movie spends the most time developing these characters, making sure that they are the, 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 the ones that we want to see more of. And we want to continue on with them and really see where they're going to go, you know? And I get that. And I understood that. And I was hooked totally from the introductions showing this is who Deadshot is, this is who Harley Quinn is. I was just, yes, I'm totally on board with that. Will Smith has not been this fun in years. Mark Robbie is just fantastic. And a real standout which surprised me was El Diablo, played by Jay Hernandez. His character has the most development because he has the most emotional sort of crux of this movie. His, his backstory is quite touching and it's quite Horrific to think, oh crap, he did that? Wow, that's that's bad. That's really, really, really bad. And this movie don't, makes you make sure that you understand, okay, these are who the characters are for three of them. And I say that they are standouts because they are just good, whereas everyone else is not good. Boomerang, played by Jai, Jai Courtney. I'm going to say this, Jai Courtney was actually pretty fun. Boomerang was a pretty fun character. He's playing a bogan, which is just awesome for Australians to watch. However, he doesn't actually do much, and his ability to throw boomerangs at stuff is useless. And the rest of the characters, I just didn't care about. Killer Croc has been a DC Comics villain for ages. He's been a great Batman villain. He's just this big brute sort of guy that Batman could take on. Very interesting, very cool looking in this movie. Not so much. He looks cool, but he just doesn't do anything. The same as Katana, same as Rick Flagg. Enchantress, I'll get onto her. She's a... Ugh. But just so many other characters, just, they didn't do anything. They just did not do anything. The actors kind of tried as hard as they could, but the end result was just... We want development. We want actual characters, not just cardboard cutouts. Viola Davis is Amanda Waller. I found her character pretty interesting. The character itself has always been interesting in the comics, and Viola Davis does play this role really well, but, it's, again, she doesn't actually do anything big and momentous except for just talk about what's happening, tell us who these characters are instead of showing us, and therefore we don't really care about a character because she's just there one minute, there the next minute, and then she just rocks up the end and it's like, okay. Jared Leto's Joker, which was a huge talking point about this movie. And what we get in the movie is basically nothing. He's in it for a couple of flashbacks, about three scenes in the, the present timeline of this movie, and then nothing else. No, no introduction to who he is, no real introduction to who this character is, no time de dedicated to exploring Jerry Loder's performance in this joke. I, I mean, he, he, he's okay, he's very weird, very different, and I don't know if I like it because I just didn't see enough of it. If we saw more of it, then I could have a real opinion about it. But really, it's just commentary on the fact that he just was not there enough. And then we also have Enchantress. Cara Delevingne, I was thinking, okay, this could be really interesting. Until you realize what her character actually does in the movie. And I won't spoil it for anyone out there who hasn't seen this movie. But I would just say that when you find out what a character really is, 
you are kind of on board and you think, okay, where are they going to go with this? And then you see where they go with it. And it's really unbelievably awful. Cara Delevingne, I have no idea what she was doing in this movie. It's obvious that the director just said, hey, just do whatever you want because, oh, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. Another thing that really disappointed me about this movie, about Suicide Squad, which was toted as like a, a, a Deadpool, Guns of the Galaxy crossover sort of thing, that sort of tone, the, the grim tone, but it's also darkly funny. And I was thinking this could be the, this could be a great DC movie. This could be the first DC movie to make me think, wow, that was just absolutely amazing. And it just wasn't because in the end, in the climax, the big third act of this movie, it's exactly the same as many other superhero movies. Now, I used to think it's perfectly fine for the Avengers to have their big battle, and, but now I'm tired of it. Thank you, Suicide Squad. You've made me absolutely tired of faceless villain armies, a villain talking about doomsday and destroying the world and creating a big machine to destroy the world for them, and then having a big battle at the end with a big sky beam, big explosions, it's just, it's tiring now. So thank you, Suicide Squad. You've made me tired of something that superior, superior movies have been doing for the last, like, 15 years. When you take the characters out of this movie, there's actually not that much story. There's one great scene where they're all on a bar, they're drinking, they're talking about, you know, what it really means to actually save people, why they should be doing this. Why should they actually be going out there trying to save anybody? They're bad guys. They're expected to kill people. Maybe we should do something. Maybe we should prove to people that we can do something else. And that's it. That's, it's only one scene that we actually get these characters really learning something. The rest of it is just action that looks okay. And we have some funny scenes and some kind of well shot scenes, I guess, and some cool visuals and some good performances, but it's just a lot of some. It's not any great overall massive amazing things. It was all just, it, get, it gets to about halfway and then just stays there. The third act kind of dips a bit. It kind of brings it back up in the real ending of the movie, but it never goes to the heights of where it could be. And that was just insanely frustrating. In the end, Suicide Squad is an unbelievable mess. There is a good movie in there, but it's just buried on a lot of layers of just mediocrity. It's kind of fun in some parts, and it's kind of odd to know that this movie has probably more in common with Fantastic Four from last year. It's nowhere near as bad as that movie, but it isn't as good as it could be. So, and Suicide Squad, you'd probably be better off watching it on a plane. I got this in the mail just before I saw this movie. I've looked at this and thought, you know what? This could be really cool. The critics might just completely be completely wrong and I could watch this movie and go, you know what? This was awesome, but I didn't. And that's really unfortunate. Suicide Squad, have you seen it? Please tell me what you think about it. Remember, push that little red button. Thank you for watching.